came really close today, but we came up short. I spoke to the president just a little while ago, and I told him that the best thing I think to do is to pull this bill, and he agreed with that decision. This is a setback, no two ways about it. But it is not the end of the story, because I know that every man and woman in this conference is now motivated more than ever to step up our game, to deliver on our promises. Meanwhile, President Trump remained optimistic. I worked as a team player and would have loved to have seen it pass. But again, uh, I think you know I was very clear because I think there wasn't a speech I made or very few where I didn't mention that perhaps the best thing that could happen is exactly what happened today because we'll end up with a truly great health care bill in the future after this mess known as Obamacare explodes. So I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, it will go very smoothly, I really believe. I think this is something that certainly was an interesting period of time. We all learned a lot. President Trump was also pressed over the impact of the House Freedom Caucus on the health care bill's failure. Do you feel betrayed by the House Freedom Caucus at all? They seem to be the, the most difficult thing. No, get. I'm not betrayed. They're friends of mine. I'm disappointed because we could have had it. Uh, so I'm disappointed. I'm a little surprised, to be honest with you. Uh, we really had it. It was pretty much there, within grasp. Joining us now with reaction, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, who's a close ally of the House Freedom Caucus. Now, Senator, do you think the president was indirectly referring to you specifically in those remarks? No, but what I would say is I think I still have a great deal of optimism that we will come to a repeal of Obamacare. I mean, there's probably been nothing that has united Republicans more than our desire to repeal Obamacare. I think it led to our electoral set success of taking over the House in 2010, the Senate in 2014, and winning the White House in 2016. So I think we are united on repeal. We're not so much united on the replacement part, but I still think it can be worked out. So I'm hoping that both sides will say we will continue to talk. I think that President Trump's been very open to many of our ideas. I just think we didn't have enough time, and we set an artificial deadline, and instead of saying we're going to work till we finally get this, I don't see a reason why we can't work next week, the week after, the week after, but we should work on repealing Obamacare, and I'm going to continue to be for that as well as replacing it. There's some great ideas for replacement. Right, so, so a lot of people, President Trump is now training his fire on his Democrat oppon opponents in Congress. This year should be much worse for Obamacare. So what would be really good with no Democrat support if the Democrats, when it explodes, which it will soon, uh, if they got together with us and got a real health care bill, I'd be totally open to it. And I think that's going to happen. I think the losers are Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. It was a very tense day here on Capitol Hill. Statuary Hall behind me had a lot of traffic going back and forth to the House floor, to the leadership offices, trying to cut a deal. They needed 210 or 215 votes or so. One of the committee chairmen involved in this effort said they got to about 200. And we were hearing they thought they were trending in the right direction, but we were also hearing that they thought the final few votes would be the hardest to get. And so Speaker Paul Ryan went up to the White House and said, we're falling short short. The president called it quits. Uh, Vice President Mike Pence came back down here to Capitol Hill to meet with House conservatives to try to get a few more votes. Uh, but some came out of the meeting and said, we are still no's. And so bottom line, rather than suffer an epic defeat on the floor of the House, they decided just to pull it down and have no vote today. Right. right. And, and Kevin, um,